24-7 V. Democrats like to say that no one needs an AR-15 for self-defense. That no one could possibly need all 30 rounds. But when this rifle is the only thing standing between your family and a dozen angry Democrats in clan hoods, you just might need that semi-automatic and all 30 rounds. A Republican candidate in air is on a went viral Wednesday with a new campaign ad that shows him defending his home from the Ku Klux Klan. Arizona Republican Jerome Avison, in no uncertain terms, tells voters exactly how he feels about the right to own an R-15 rifle for self-defense in a video showing his home being approached by members of the KKK. Davison, who is black narrates the video which shows him at home enjoying coffee and praying as menacing figures dressed in clang attire approach his residence with weapons. Democrats, Democrats like to say that no one needs an R-15 for self-defense, that no one could possibly need all 30 rounds, Davison says. As the clang members approach, the video then shows Davison stepping out of his home armed with a rifle which scares the intruders away. But when this rifle is the only thing standing in between your family and a dozen angry Democrats in clan hoods, you just might need that semi-automatic. And all 30 rounds, he says. Davison posted the video to Twitter Wednesday morning, writing, Make rifles great again. The 30-second dad is going viral and has been seen more than 5000000 times at the time of this article's publication. The ad highlights the controversial history of the Ku Klux Klan, a white supremacist terrorist organization that used violence and intimidation against white and black Republican leaders to disenfranchise black Americans. The Klang sought to re-establish white supremacy in southern states and supported the Democratic Party against Reconstruction era Republicans in the 1870s. The KKK re-emerged in the 1920s as a racist and nativist hate group that burned crosses and denounced immigrants, Catholics, Jews, African Americans, and organized labor. It campaigned for pro-segregation Democrats in the South and opposed the civil rights movement through the 1960s. Prominent Democratic leaders have been affiliated with the Klan, including the late West Virginia Senator Democrats Albert Bayard, like a no former organizer and member of the KKK. Bayard later renounced the no KKK and said he regretted his membership in the organization. He died in 2010, after serving in Congress for more than 50 years, and was eulogized by then-Vice President Joe Biden. Davison, a former NFL player, pastor, and speaker, is one of five GOP candidates running in the primary election for Arizona's 4th Congressional District. He was a running back for Arizona State University and later played for the Oakland Raiders from 1996 to 1997. After leaving the NFL, Davison spent 10 years working in California as a liaison reuniting children with incarcerated parents. According to a profile by the Air Is Own Republic, his issue focus is combating big tech, fighting for election integrity, including the ability to validate results and embracing free market principles to deal with inflation. The winner of the primary on August 2nd will face incumbent trap, Greg Stanton Diariz, in November. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe my channel. It's Mike from 24 EV.